Tonight, top of mind is coronavirus once again, as case numbers and hospitalizations continue to grow. The U.S. had one million new daily COVID cases on Monday. President Biden met with the White House COVID response team for the first time in the new year and announced what he calls a game changer for severe COVID cases. For those at high risk who do get COVID-19, we now have a new Pfizer pill that greatly reduces the risk of hospitalization and death. I'm pleased to say that on Christmas Eve, we shipped out the first batch of these pills that we received, we purchased and received, and more will be shipped this week. In fact, the Biden administration is now doubling its order of the antiviral pill. And we wanted to know what this means for our hospitals here in Northeast Ohio. Well, it turns out it could be a game changer in just a matter of months. Our Laura Queso explains. We've received just today, Laura, 120 courses of treatment uh, for Paxlovid. An oral drug to treat COVID-19 is now at university hospitals. It's in short supply throughout the country, but today, the Biden administration announcing 20 million more pills are on the way, with 4 million expected by the end of the month. They're a game changer and have the potential to dramatically alter the impact of COVID-19. Dr. Daniel Simon, chief scientific officer at UH, agrees. Just as Tamiflu is a game changer for at-risk individuals for flu, uh, this should be the same. Paxlovid has been shown uh, to reduce severe disease, hospitalization, and death by about 90%. Dr. Simon says UH hopes to get more shipments. It's a five-day course of pills taken twice a day. The hope is you'll be able to pick it up at your local pharmacy. And doctors say it's as effective as monoclonal antibodies, which requires an infusion. The cost of Paxlovid is $700, covered by the federal government. Another resource that could be used to help hospital staff working tirelessly to treat COVID-19 patients. It's exactly what we need. Right now at University Hospital's Cleveland Medical Center, more than 90% of those in the hospital with COVID are unvaccinated. And I'm told more than 90% of those cases are the Omicron variant. As for at-home tests, the president once again said today a new website is on its way next month where you can get those tests for free. Laura Queso, 3 News.